Hi everyone, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, you saw me yesterday if you've watched that video. Uh, big thank you to all my new subscribers and if you're coming back again, also big thank you to you. I try to do um, two videos a week. It's mainly about makeup, um, haul videos, sometimes clothes and things like that. Um, yeah, so if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button and please feel free to share my videos comments and everything like that help me get more noticed because if I can get more watch time then eventually I can get monetized and it means I can do more videos showing you new products and stuff because I really want to make a go of this channel sorry I sound like I'm begging and I don't want to sound like oh you know I don't mean it like that it's just it would mean so much to me because I really want to make a go of this channel as a little bit of a job for me because um due to health problems I can't go out and do what I call um, proper work you know I can't do traditional work but this I can do because I can fit it in when I have a bit of energy and stuff like that so if you'd like to help me out that would be a big thank a big hug from me to you all so today I'm sorry I've got a little boy that wants to say hello so if you're new to my channel this is Charlie he's a toy poodle he's going to be four in June no I don't want to kiss um yeah, so he's my little companion and follows me around. So occasionally you see him on videos. Are you a bit tired? Yeah, I know we've had a busy week, haven't we? Yeah, so occasionally you'll see him in videos. But yeah, so I just thought I'd pick him up because he was asking. Can I put you down, please, so Mummy can do this? Thank you. Go and play with your toy. Not that he'll understand me. Great, now I'm getting hot. Apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background. It is um, really dark and just horrible out. I just... I'd rather have weather where it's really cold and sunny or sunny and warm, but this dull weather, it's just really depressing. Um, yeah, so I've come on to do my January empty video and let you know what I liked, what I didn't, if it's worth your money. These are just my opinions. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So the first item is from Pixie. I will just grab my glasses because I know I will need them for things. It's the Hydrating Milky Mist. It's it's a great product. I need to replace it someone. I'll have to put it on my little notebook to remind me to um, replenish it. It was a godsend in the summer when it was so hot and I just wanted to freshen up my face. Um, so it's not a setting spray or anything like that. It's just, you can put it on before your makeup. So with your skincare and stuff. Can't remember how much it was, but I know Pixie isn't overly expensive. I say it's middle of the road. But yeah, I really liked this just for refreshing my face and it didn't spoil my makeup. So before makeup, after makeup, during the day, highly recommend if you get hot or just want that bit of extra hydration. This was in the advent box that I got last year from Look Fantastic. It's the Rituals Relaxing Body Scrub. This was a big flop from me. Um, I don't know if this was, I think this was full size. It's not cheap. I think it's like 30 odd pound. And I've had a couple of the Ritual items and so far I haven't found anything I like. Um, I didn't like the smell. It's got an oil in it and I don't like oils in my um, bath routine stuff. I find it's just, it feels sticky afterwards. So this was a big no from me. So I'll put yes and no's in a pile and we'll see how much I liked and how much I didn't. Excuse me, I just got to deal with the machine, washing machine. Okay, so that's the next load of washing going. Um, sorry, I've got out of breath doing that. I do get very breathless. Um, the next item is the simple, I might have shown this before, but as I've got new subscribers, apologies if you've seen things I've shown before, but at least you know I still like it or don't. Well, if I don't like it, I wouldn't buy it, would I? So that made no sense. Um, yeah, so this is the simple refreshing facial wash. I really like this. It's animal cruelty free, gets my makeup off. Cleans my skin because it's something I use morning and evening. I've got something different at the moment, which I'm actually liking better than this, which surprises me because I didn't think I'd find anything I liked more than this. But this is a more cheaper brand. It's like, you know, the drugstore. So really like that. Cleans my skin. I don't feel sticky and horrible afterwards. This isn't actually empty, but I wanted to show you it anyway and I'm going to pass it on to my friend's daughter 
this um I think this came in one of the beauty boxes I can't remember I lose track <laughs> but I know I didn't buy it so it came in a beauty box I think it was the look fantastic one last month um so this is the Philip Kingsley maximizer root boosting spray um I've used it a couple of times but I don't like it it just made my hair feel it did give it volume I'll give it credit for that but it was just really sticky and tacky afterwards I felt like my hair in this area was just so tacky so I'm going to pass that on and see if my like I said my friend's daughter would get on better with that but I just didn't like it at all whoops for me it's a big flop so really didn't like that this is Pixie Detoxify Eye Patches. Loved them. Um, I found a big difference. I've noticed that with my eyes. At the moment, I've got this. I've got a different one because I couldn't remember what colour top I had. And I thought it was this peachy one. So I'll be testing this out somewhere. This says Fortify. Oh, yeah, this is Fortify. This new one is a toning eye patch. Um, but yeah, I really like them. Good value. I think you get 60 in total, so a month's worth. But I don't use it every day. I use it a few times a week. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Found afterwards. There was a little bit of residue left afterwards. But on the whole, I just rubbed it in. So for me, the Pixie um, eye, patch, um, eye patches are a big hit absolutely love that we'll always make sure i have that in stock another item you've seen from me before um the others you haven't but um this you've seen from me before is the liz earl hydrating serum i use it every morning i was using it morning and night but i found a nighttime one that i'm liking as well and i just love it it goes on nicely you've seen me use it in quite a few of my videos when I've done get readies with you and things like that really like it goes in the skin nicely doesn't feel tacky I think it's about 30 pounds so it's middle of the road I would say um, and that's cruelty free as well because I do try to get as many cruelty free things or vegan things as I can this um oh where's the other one that came with it let's grab this I'll do these two together these were from benefit not from Benefit, but the Benefit, and they were in a Sephora item. Nice brow products, did set my eyes, but as Benefit don't, aren't cruelty free. I don't know why, in this day and age, I don't know about you, but I would think more com companies could be cruelty free, even if they don't go down the vegan route, they could be cruelty free. So I wouldn't be getting them again. They're great products if you want to try them, but for me, Personally, I won't be buying them again just because I want to stay, like I said, do as much cruelty free, vegan free, vegan friendly stuff as I can. So that was a big no no. Um, then I had this in, I think it was in the um, Advent box, I think. I lose track. Um, so this is Advent A V A N T. Really not, I'm sure this was the eye cream, excuse me. Yeah, this was the eye cream. Oh, and it was absolutely amazing. I used it at night time and I definitely will be getting one of these again when money allows. Um, and this is cruelty free as well. It's got the little bunny and the P -E PTA thing on it. Absolutely love this. Um, it's got hydraulic acid, monocle boost eye cream. I just really liked it. It went in nicely. Uh, as you can tell I loved it so Avon if you want to reach out and sponsor me or do PR I'll be really happy <laughs> um yeah so absolutely loved that I'm just going to get a couple of things at a time this um is by Chiate London it was their everyday coconut lip oil mm, not a hit from me it was so messy it just got everywhere and if you entered it up in your mouth it was disgusting so this is a big no-no from me. Then we've got the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Really liked this. Um, went on nicely. Eyeshadow looked really good with it. So I like that as well. So that was a good one. So I'm grabbing a couple of products at a time and then it's just easier. 
Um, so we've got some perfume this time. This is Juliet Has a Gun. What fragrance was this one? This was Magnolia Bliss. Really liked it. Last all day. Just a sample size. So a full size, I think, when I looked. It's about £90 for like 30 mil. So not a very cheap brand, but it does last all day if you're looking for something that lasts all day. Really liked that. This was also in the advent box. We had three of these. They were Beauty Pro Retinol Under Eye Patches. Really nice, um, but the only thing I didn't like about them, and I personally wouldn't buy, is the outer bit, it had like the sticky bit, but on the outer bit, it had a like felt cover, and that just irritated my eyes, and my skin just didn't like the felt. So for me, these are a no, but if you want to buy one and give it a go, then yeah. I don't know how much they are, um, but I'll be sticking to my pixie ones. I think they're better value because you only get one go at a time. So that was a no. Let me just dig everything out that's left in here. And then I'm not making so much sound, so let's just put that down there. This was, what was this one? Sorry, <laughs> glasses again. This was Chiate London. This was their primer. I just, it was really thick. Um, whoops, sorry, Tom. I didn't mean to throw that at you, sweetheart. Um, yeah, it was really thick, and I felt afterwards, I felt my skin really claggy, um, if that makes sense. It was just really tacky and stuff. So I wouldn't be getting this again either. Um, for me, I just found it really sticky. I mean, makeup went on well on top of it, but I just didn't like the texture, so that's a no. Then we've got another little perfume item. This is, oh, I can't get it, um, by Penn Halligans. I hope I'm saying that right, London. This was the Luna one. It was really nice. Um, quite a fresh smell. Um, and it lasted all day again, but one of these full-size ones, I think it's like hundred or pounds, so not a cheap brand. So that would be a big, treat if I ever got one or you get one I'd say that's a big treat some of you might be oh no hundred pounds fine but me personally um yeah that would be a big treat if I ever got one of these but I did really like it um then this is a hand cream from next um I think you have next in the states I'm not 100% sure um but they do nice body stuff if you're looking for perfumes that aren't overly expensive. I've got a couple from them that are like £10. They don't last all day, but they are really nice. So if you want to go out for the evening or was just nipping out somewhere and wanted to have something on, I think they're really good. This was the cashmere one. It was a gift set that I had given to me ages ago. Um, this hand cream was really nice. Um, you know nice moisture not tacky afterwards and it had a bit of a fragrance i know some of you don't like fragrance so if that's not for you then you know but at least i'm letting you know so i really like that i do get some things from next now and then this is the wet and wild max volume mascara really liked that that lasted all day it wasn't clumpy um and i think this is like a super drug brand i think not super drugs um drugstore I get confused with super drug and drugstore but yeah really liked that then this is a hair mask from bleach london used it it's all right but it's not something i'd go oh i must go and get that again it made me a little bit dandruffy so for me personally this was a no so we've got one two three four six seven products that i didn't like last month and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven products that i would repurchase so i hope you enjoyed me giving my opinion on these items and i will see you all soon with something else don't forget the thumbs up don't forget to share my videos and if you're not already subscribed why not hit that subscribe button i will see you all soon take care everyone have a good weekend bye